Okay, we have a reading list for this humanities course. There's 10 books in the reading list. Four of them are biographies, we'll call them bios, and the rest are novels, that's six novels. Now, what this question is asking is a little bit tricky. It's saying each student is required to read a selection of four books from the list, any four books from these 10 books. But that selection of four, one, two, three, four, must include at least two biographies. So we could have two biographies, we could have three biographies, I should write in the novels here, because that means the rest are novels, or we could have all of them biographies. So the question is asking how many different ways can you do this? So if this is the real test, what do you do? You skip this question and come back to it if you have time and just guess, because this is going to take a while. Otherwise, it is obviously a very difficult question. But in the book here, you'll notice, oh, it's nicely in the middle, right next to an easy question, but this is anything but easy. So what must we do? We are choosing from a group of 10. If we are choosing, we're going to be using combination formulas. So here, we are, let's take this first scenario, two bios. How many different ways can we choose two bios from four bios? And to do the math here, that would be four factorial over two factorial times two factorial. This is a combination versus a permutation. So it's important to know the difference. If you're choosing from a larger group, choosing C equals combinations. You're going to do the quick math here. I'll do it once just to show you how it works. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 2 times 1, 2 times 1. Notice here on the bottom. So these cancel out. And we're left with 4 times 3, which is 12, over 2 times 1, which is 6. So six possible ways to do this. That is two biographies. But we still have to figure out how many ways can we get two novels when we're choosing from six novels. So again, we have to use this combination formula, 6 factorial over 4 factorial times 2 factorial. This cancels out all the 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, leaves us with 6 times 5 at the top over 2, which leaves us with 15. That means there's 15 different ways to arrange these novels or to choose these novels. When you want to find total possibilities, you multiply. 6 times 15 is equal to 90. Now the good news is things get a little bit he easier here. If we choose here, if we go, let's take the second scenario right here, let's bring it down here, do the work here, more room down here. You can see that there are three bios that we're choosing from four. So four factorial over three factorial times one factorial, which is basically just one, leaves us with four. So four different ways of doing this, of choosing three bios. And here we only have one room for one novel, so there's six different ways to choose that. So that's four times six, which equals 24. Now, of course, I'm getting a little bit messy here, but if you remembered, 90 was originally number here. Aha, so 90 ways to choose. Biography, biography, novel, novel, order doesn't matter. 24 ways to choose this. And then finally, we're left with the one on the bottom. How many ways can you choose four bios from four bios? Well, only one way. Add these up and you get 115. And there is our answer. That's choice B. So as I said, if you see one that looks obviously very difficult like this, skip it. If you have time, though, come back and see if you can get it.